Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike, back with another video. And today we have a guest, all the way from Barbell Brigade. I flew out just for this. Los Angeles, just for one four minute video. Yep. So be sure to like it because I need the money to pay for his flight. That was expensive first class from Los Angeles, California, yeah, yeah. all the way from Hollywood. Took Air Dubai. He flew to Dubai uh, layover and yeah. then flew back yeah, here. Yeah. Nadim Hamadi. Hamidi. 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 Huh? Me. D. D. There you go. Hamidi. <laughs> Today we're gonna cover a couple topics. Be sure uh, to give this thing thumbs up. New videos every Monday and Thursday. Check out Nads. He's doing a little bit of fitness, but a lot of cooking. And I know how fat you all are watching. Yeah. And if you want yumminess, go to his channel, uh, Nad Nadim Ham Hamidi. Just one ha. Huh. Ha. Hamidi. Midi. Yeah. Ha Hamidi. Hamidi. Like your Let's girthy? get into it, bro. It's All right, so, uh, just a name. <laughs> so basically, um, you guys have probably noticed on Instagram, uh, things have been going viral, which I didn't know have been going viral for a long time since Nadim told me. But um, my man, I believe his name is Miles, and he's out in Maine, I think, or Maryland. Don't misquote me, but he trains at my guy, Brian Alsrules, uh Gym, strongman, YouTuber, really cool guy. I've known Brian for a long time. Um, and Miles has cerebral palsy which yeah. is a disease that basically controls your central nervous system, uh, makes uh, your bodily uh, muscles, everything firing a little bit more difficult or a lot of bit more difficult, uh, but mentally they're all there. And recently he pulled 200 pounds, I think, and he weighs 99 pounds. That's insane. It's absolutely insane. And this literally goes back to almost every video I've ever done forever, talking about how powerlifting is literally for everyone. Mm -hmm. And, and, and the, 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 the potential for someone to participate in, in either the hobby or compete, whatever, how far you wanna take it, um, can teach so many lessons. And this guy's going absolutely viral. Miles, which is a crazy feat, pulling 200 pounds, uh, or pulling double body weight is a good feat for anybody doing strength, let yeah, alone if you have these issues. Like if you're just a regular person, you're not pulling double body weight. No, 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 it takes time. And yeah. so let alone the time that he took, which is what actually impresses me because we're in this game, this yeah. fitness game. So when I see that video, everyone thinks, man, cerebral palsy, 200 pounds, that's so heavy. But to me, it's like, oh man, cerebral palsy, 200 pounds. I know this dude put in reps. Yeah. Like this dude's been doing it for months, years, weeks yeah. after week, and it's not taking time off. And that's what really impresses me. It's not like he just came in, pulled, and then it went viral. Like right. they've been training with him, they've been doing this, and that's like, it's cool to see the the results from man saying that like like because we're watching the video they literally talk about how treat them just like a regular person yeah which yeah, is yeah. dope and like we're just losing like comedian yeah uh, Tom Segura and he's like stop patronizing people with disabilities you know like the regular people they want to be treated like regular for sure people. for sure uh, and you can really show see that that's what they do here yeah and it's so impressive to me because. My body's uh, uh, full functioning, I guess. Yeah. And for me to get, know the frustrations and the mental um, strength that I've needed to power lift for 10 years, going through injuries or plateaus or showing up on days I don't wanna show up and all these things. And Miles, his, his, his difficulty ladder is much more difficult than mine and the frustrations he must have had. And he's competed in a full powerlifting meet, yeah. which is actually even more impressive to me than a double, uh, a double body weight deadlift, which is also insane. But competing in a full powerlifting meet, training all three lifts when your body's, well, you're, you're, his mind's telling his body to do shit and it won't do it. Yeah. Now we all go through that, right? Yeah. Because otherwise we'd all be in the NBA if our body did exactly what our brain told us, right? Yeah. Mike, go dunk. I mean, I, I'd probably make it, I don't know about you. No, I'd make it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about that, but. Oh, well, I'd be there. Yeah, yeah. If we could if, tell our body to do exactly what we want to do, we're just better at it. Yeah. And cerebral palsy stops that connection. Uh, and so the frustration must be absolutely insane, but this kid's an absolute. Um, he seems happy. Step. Every video I've seen, he's just like super edited. I, I'm 100% sure he has days that he's just like, Fuck it, you know? For sure. Uh, but I think like him being who he is and like dealing with this, it's like you gotta be strong. And if if you're gonna be strong and just function through daily life with cerebral palsy, that's already a strength in itself. And yeah, if so you maybe go this above nothing. and beyond yeah. to do powerlifting, imagine the stuff that he has to go through, but uh, him being him plus having the team around him that's like, yo, we're, we're in it with you. Yeah, you know? it does help to have a team and that's something obviously me and Nadim have been friends for a long time because of the Jim Barber Brigade, which is basically a team. Yeah. Um, 
having a community, having like-minded people, but powerlifting uh, as a hobby, as a sport, however you want to take it, is so incredibly life-changing if you allow it to be. It's yeah. not just lifting. It's not how much you can lift. It's it's the community you can build. It's the discipline you can build. Yeah. Um, it's the mental strength you can build and the character you can build for showing up on days you don't want to show up. Yeah. Um, like definitely, I've made a lot of like gains in life through lifting, you know? There's definitely a lot of people that take advantage of it and just try to be cool, they try to be, like make money off you, they try to do all these different things. Uh, but then there's the people that just really like it for what it can give you. Yeah, for sure, and there's so many things behind the scenes, like you said, like, yeah, like even you guys comment below when you, you Mike, are we gonna see you lift again? Like, trust me, I'm lifting, and I yeah. lift every day, but I don't always just lift to hit a PR, to put it on Instagram for you guys to, to like the video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I lift every day to get me in the right mental state. I lift every day as my meditation, I yeah. plug in my music, I get my reps in um, to feel physically and mentally better uh, and it's incredibly uh, cool for me to see that hopefully this sport the sport that I've loved uh, and, and what I believe in in a way my religion fitness being my religion movement being my religion movement um, allowing you to have a better life that that miles and his crew and, and shout out to my I think his trainers name's Nick uh, and my boy uh, Brian um, for for showing him this guy the yeah. way yeah I mean it'd be really cool to see what comes up after this because now there's a whole like millions of people that have problems, or not say problems, but like uh, disabilities that now they might be inspired to do something. They might try to go above and beyond. And now um, that just opens up a whole new place for them to be like, hey, I can go. And like, we always, like everyone always has people like say like Michael Jordan for basketball, uh, any person for any sport or business or whatever. But it's like, there hasn't really been anyone with uh, um, that for powerlifting, I don't think for like cerebral palsy. You know? Yeah, yeah, I think it happens for each you know hurdle that someone may have. You yeah. know, there's been a couple guys, um, you know, that are amputees that started yeah. powerlifting a couple uh, years ago, and you see it on Instagram. I'm like, damn, that fool is deadlifting with one leg, or damn, you know, that dude's that dude's deadlifting with a strap and one arm. Yeah. You're like, fuck, anybody can do it. Yeah. Um, and and, and, then, and then you see like more and more. The best is training with what you got. You know, like. If you got something that's hindering you from doing something, like you shouldn't let that hinder your mindset, you know? For sure, you for sure. Treat it as it is and like know that that's what you got and you gotta go like move forward, otherwise you're moving backwards. 100%. So uh, uh, hopefully you guys take a note here from Miles, man. You, you, you play with the, uh, what, the what, what, what the world gives you and make kind of the best of it. Uh, and it's incredibly inspiring to me. I, I don't really get shook up by a lot because I've seen a lot of really cool things in my life, but I was watching um, some of his YouTube videos, not necessarily that deadlift video that just went viral, but uh, a bunch of his YouTube videos of him having fun in the gym and I'm getting goosebumps. Like he's laughing, he's smiling, yeah. he's squatting a barbell, which is absolutely insane to me. Um, so check him out, check out Brian, be sure to check out Nadeem. Uh, keep pushing yourselves, uh, you know, whether you wanna step on the platform and break a world record or if you just wanna get better um, for yourself, uh, power to you uh, and know that we're all kinda in this thing together and, and the iron is something that that, that really uh, uh, makes, it's, it's the, the, the forever equalizer. Uh, yeah, definitely. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it makes us all the same. It doesn't really care what, what color you are, what, what you were born with, what how much money you have. Um, all it knows is hard work, uh, and all it knows is pounds. Nope. Oh. Bye.